And we're back. I say and we're back, but what, it's what a, a good lit. It, it, I get startled when we go immediately into a match. Some respect and disrespect going on here as Lunatic. Welcome to Raw. It's the week after the week, the Raw episode 15 of Monday Night Raw this season. Yes. And, 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 and for the local madman, uh, I am the Ron here with him as always. And, you know, again, this match is starting hot, wasting no time here getting started between Lunatic, the Lunatic, uh, Daniel Lopez, and Senior Squash match. Lunatic <laughs> trying. Lunatic failing to win last week's main event. So he's not going to be going to payback for the championship, which is a bit disappointing in my book. But. Uh, trudge. Trudge versus Mank 3 happening on Payback is a little underwhelming for my taste. I was kind of hoping for WrestleMania, if I'm going to be honest with you, Ron. But, you know. These, these are the way these things shake out. I think for me, the bigger disappointment and shock was that Chris Danger was eliminated immediately. Yeah. Immediately. That's the word I'd use. You know, I, if, he was eliminated first, but I wouldn't say yeah. un eliminated immediately. We, it's kind of sad because of how much of an Iron Man performance he gave at Backlash. I will and, and, never not mention yeah. Backlash. It was it was a great match, and you know, Danger did put up a great effort in that triple threat, but he was the first to be eliminated, and um, you know, it. One has to wonder. Everything that Chris Danger has been going through hasn't been worth it. Yeah, even in season two, I I feel like I've told you, or maybe Newts has told you about uh, what happened to Danger at Elimination Chamber. Refresh my memory. Uh, he was, I think, the third person to be released from the pod. Second person doesn't matter. He comes out. One of the big guys hits three moves on him, and he's immediately eliminated. Yeah, that sounds... That, that's you talk about that. immediately eliminated from the main event last week. He was immediately eliminated from the elimination chamber. Yeah. Oof. That's what I think of when I think Chris Danger was immediately eliminated. That's, that's fair. Uh, how the mighty have fallen in any event, but it, it still feels very apropos after... The way he went in backlash, and and you know, one that, sympathizes with him on a certain level. The way that he had lashed out, stealing the briefcase of Pepsi uh, from from Jay Scanton, uh, having performed so well at backlash, but having everyone else, you know, uh, 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 reap the benefits from it. Drew Bowen became Japan United States champion off of his effort. We could be Danger versus Bowman for the A Championship. Imagine. So somebody in my chat just reminded me that uh, this is a reminder that today is 7-Eleven. So you can get a free Slurpee if you have 7-Eleven in your area. So if you're looking to fight someone, go to the underground 7-Eleven and beat the fuck out of them. And then get yourself a free Slurpee. 7-Eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Raw Underground at the yeah. 7-Eleven for the Slurpee <laughs> Championship. Raw Underground at the Underground 7-Eleven for the Slurpee Championship. Imagine. Where we, of course, remember uh, the, okay. the Halloween Massacre, one of the most infamous events at the, you know, uh, during the war for the, for the homeless. Uh, senior squash match hit his finish. I wasn't paying attention because uh, R.I.P. El Cano. Yeah, R.I.P. El Cano. The El but, uh, Cano Memorial. Up oh, there, Chin and AEW. I want to die. Oh, great. Well, I'll remind people again about the uh, the Halloween Massacre event. It was Halloween where uh, the forces of good claimed that they were going to uh, sue for peace with the homeless to stop the homeless crisis from being on the rise but of course it was a trick we said that we were going to feed them 
special Halloween hot dogs from the 7-Eleven. But little did they know that we had pumped all of their hot dogs full of lemon-scented pine saw. That was the trick in their treats. And that was the day many homeless died. Many, many Bothans. Many Bothans. That's right. But, you know, before you go feeling... Oh, my God! That right there is Lunatic's finish right there, but no, Senior Squash Match. Uh, Unfortunately, this is the opening match of tonight's episode. It is not eligible for a highlight nor match of the night category. Which is a shame, but before you go feeling bad about what we did to the homeless during the Halloween Massacre, we will remind you that they brutally slaughtered in that war. Brutally slaughtered El Cano and Sullivan Richard Sullivan, a.k.a. Sully Dick Sullivan, the older brother of Dan and Nick Sullivan. Pour one out for my boy, Sully. He was a true, he was a real estate trooper. That's right. He was Pouring a real estate trooper. He was a real estate trooper. He was a real estate <laughs> he prospector. Was a... The li- he, he, he was the real life Frieza. But <laughs> the idea that a real real estate worker is fighting off the homeless people is just hilarious. Get off my land. Squatters rights. Squatters rights. No! <laughs> no! God, those screams. <laughs> That's why Nick hates the homeless crisis so much. The screams of Sully still haunt him. And of course, we haven't seen El Undo Taco uh, uh, debut because, again, with the homeless crisis on the rise, still, es para mi hermano, El Cano, but lunatic. He's still got it in him. Ooh wee! A good singles match to start things off. Fast and quick, seven minutes. We'll be right back. And we're back. A handshake again from last week. We could be seeing a great sportsman. T- uh, never what mind. the hell? A sucker punch from Mike Savage. I guess this is the heel Mike Savage after being a baby face in season one. I hate Mike it. Savage. I, I hate, hate it. Too. Mike Savage truly has nothing to do with Cody Rhodes. Adrenaline in my soul. This is nothing with Cody Rhodes. The ref decided to fuck on me. <laughs> Crowd ref, goes well when me. I go. Cody Carter on this hoe. <laughs> Savage Carter Sa- on this hoe has nothing to do with Cody, with Cody Rhodes. Rhodes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> we need to write the lyrics for the has nothing to do with Cody Rhodes song. Which is Mike Savage's theme. Best. <laughs> which is also performed by Downstraight, which has also had wonderful plastic surgery. The same plastic surgery that Cody Rhodes had. We need... Alright. Are there any downstate action figures? There should be. There should be. Jay Skinton actually doing pretty well in this match between Mike Savage. And let me tell you, despite these two looking like they should be a tag team together, they absolutely perform their hearts out in singles competition. They've got and that as chemistry. We, in, in, indeed, and as we've said, there is the Savage Cutter, which has nothing to do with the Cody Cutter. It won the match last week. It did. Yep. Oh, little Twister McDister right there. Jay Scanton swoosing his way through uh, Savage's arms, but Savage getting the upper hand right here. I can't, I can't get a good camera angle. Ring post. When in doubt, ring post it out. There you go. Mike Savage is teeing off on Jay Scanton now. You know, there was something beautiful in the works here between these two. Uh, one could say 
that Cody Rhodes was building an elite team. Imagine if these two form a tag team and win the championships at the Royal Rumble. That would be... Oh my goodness. We're seeing it again. Red Death! Red Death! That's the finish. There's no denying. Except no. it isn't. He's denying. Jace Scanton showing us who the true underdog is. That's right. We are Our chance we're not worth it. Yeah, we're not worth it. We're not worth it. That's right. Moonsault on to Jace. Could this be it? Savage Salt. But it's called the Moonsault because the Somersault is the Somersault. Haven't you realized it? The backflip is called the Somersault. And the front... What? The front you flip is called the Somersault. Yes. You know what I'm getting at. I do. I do. I do know what you're getting at. It's okay. Chase scanning the, out here. And the front-facing backflip is called a shooting star. Really makes you think. I mean, we're still on about the double axe handle debacle. Not on this episode. <laughs> what even was that? Anyway, Jace made his comeback. But can he take the opportunity needed to get himself a his first ever singles win? Not sure. It, it, that would be lovely. We're not we're not counting the joke fight. The joke fight doesn't count. I don't know, man. Napalm Death is dangerous. He's a 99 overall. <laughs> 99 overall loses to Jay Scanton. Whoop. Oh. Oh, oh what is shoulder. this? Do, 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 do. Discus fist. He's got a mean right hook that Jay Scanton. Not quite there yet. You know, for, for the disrespect that Mike Savage showed Ooh, Jay Scanton for wee. what? Wow. Ooh wee. You gotta watch out for his fist and the resiliency of Mike Savage. It might not have been necessary. At this Ew. point, you gotta put Jay Scanton over. And you know what? I'm not on the edge of my seat. I'm too far seated in my back. That's alright. Still, ooh wee. He's locking him. In the friggin' Rolly Boy. How do you get stuck on. like that? Well, disrespect for disrespect. Uh, come on, you didn't need to dodge that. He was a mile away from you. Back and forth. It could go either way between these two, which is sad because because Mike Savage has the better overall rating. Okay, do a spot. Oh, I it love that. Just... I love that oh, yeah, right that, there. That was good. That was that was synchronized. Punch oh, to the gut. Bad. Oh, ripcord fist. This is bad for Jay Scanton. And, oh my goodness, Savage Driver 98 or 80, 88. I, I don't know. I don't have the paper on me. It would be the 98. One. Hopefully they don't claim it to be the two, 91. And that's the finish. Finish with the Savage Driver 98. Disrespectful. You know, Mike Savage, there was something beautiful forming. Maybe you two could have made a run against Invictus. They should. They, they they've should. got the beards. They've got the look. They should form a tag team, but this this is Thanos and Shrek circa 2K20 having a feud just because they need the screen time. We'll be right back. And we're back. More women. I mean, women. Women are in action. Women wow. are in action. That's right. And this is not a match for the women's, 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 men's championship. Otherwise known as the Heartbreaker Championship. It is not the premium live event yet. Payback. No. Hold on, I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Bless you. Two times. 
Unlucky. Very unlucky. From Guadalajara, um, Jalisco, Mexico. Her chest Scottish tattoos. Scottish French pad, plaid. That's right. And and her chest tattoos make it look like she has gnarly chest hair. Do I have gnarly chest hair? No, I got. I, I, I'm not. I'm not that I've Drew got gnarly McIntyre. chest hair. I've no, got I've, that I've, Drew McIntyre Bear Grylls look. I've got that look. It, it, thanks to that Italian blood in me. No, nah, I got that uh, premium Scottish heritage. Ah. Uh, 23 and me tells me I'm from Scotland. Scotland. Not really. It tells me that I'm Western Israel, Western Jewish or something. I can't remember what it said specifically. Well, it sure said it. Enough about my 23 and me dating profile. <laughs> Wait, 23 and me is a dating profile. Yeah. Isn't I, it? Uh I think so, yes. What am I... Ancestry? What am I thinking? Ancestry. I'm sorry, but when I think of 23andMe, I think, oh, like, 23 chromosomes. It's the DNA site. There's, like, more than one of those. 23andMe is a dating site. And when I think of 23, I think of Michael Jordan, the greatest of all time. 23... Three? Michael? I'm still trying to figure out how to do soundboard. I would abuse the hell out of Stone Cold Soundboard. You would abuse the hell out of three. Three? Listen, I'd, I'd abuse I the hell out of Michael. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> I would I would use it now, except for the fact that my uh, recording software is a screen recorder. And I'm not sure which side of Discord I'm on. If I That's put it okay. on my, uh, if I put it on my right screen or my left screen, yeah, it's it's not a worry. Uh, uh, we we shall simply have to uh, imagine in our hearts the three, Michael. Imagine if I had like three screens. This would be infinitely much more easier to manage. Because mm. then I'd have the stream labs up, I'd have the game up, I'd have the recording software recording, and on the third screen I'd have Discord where I can play all the soundboards. Michael! Uh, who turned off the apron? I Zoe don't... Masterson. Yeah, that's from weird. Australia. From, from Australia. Um, who is in no way related to Tilly or Jill Masterson, which is good, because... Then you know, odd job would smoke the hell out of her. I'm feeling another sneeze coming on. Okay, well don't worry because I will call this match between uh, stumped and nothing. Uh, I need my allergy medicine. Uh, it's it's allergy season. Get me my za daddy. Get me my size all, daddy. I'm gonna more. I need my Benadryl. Uh, more of me into my eyes, all daddy. I need my Benadryl. Where's my Benadryl? I got my guitar. Where's my Allegra? <laughs> Where's my Viagra? <laughs> That's how Dr. Morbius Morbs. And there's the guitar bit. That's your musical portion brought to you by 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven! Find the underground 7-Eleven if you want to fight. And Cody Rhodes is still trying to get that uh, 7-Eleven uh, sponsorship deal going on so that we can have Raw Underground at 7-Eleven. Why do we want Raw Underground at 7-Eleven? Because that's because where all it's the seven, happen. That's it's like the NXT parking lot. That's right. I thought it was a joke. When when you want to meet your friends, if you and your friends have a beef, and the only way you can settle it is by throwing fists, you meet those motherfuckers at the Underground Seven Eleven, and that is why Raw Underground is coming back, sponsored by Seven Eleven. Where? Oh, and here it comes, Larry, with the DDT. I, I feel like we had a name for that, but. We did, and I don't know if we had a name for it, or like if we were trying to come up with a name for it, and then we just 
Like we, thought, we kept saying we we're gonna have a name for it. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. What's going on here? The music isn't. Oh, Marcy! She's gonna spoil the after party from behind and scaring blind Sammy off. Oof. You know, Marcy. After getting that win over Lariat, she wants more, and I don't blame her. Why is Purple fighting Purple? We'll be right back. And we're back. Singles action here tonight. Obviously. This time we got entrances for the homies. That's right. Homies love entrances. We're getting fast-paced, high-octane action, and then we're going to get a triple-threat tag team match, which could be the longest match of the year. Jack O'Lantern making his way downtown, hidden behind Walking green fast. smoke. That's right. Walking fast, faces pass, and he's homebound. Na, 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 na. Even that guy in the crowd is impatient, telling him to go move his ass. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Do the tag team finish. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. About. Do the tag team finish. That's what I'm talking about. Do the table spot. Oh man, I can't wait for the main event. Because I think that's the only time we're going to get a tag team finish. Maybe. Um, actually, the rivalry says that you're having a one-on-one -on -one contest. King of Kitty Strong Style. Quinn Neko. Making his way to the ring. Why is he called the Superstar? Has... <sighs> I don't know, but more importantly, why is he not doing more business with Femboy Friday? Why are they not in a tag team to try to beat Invictus? We could make it happen. We could. We're just out we just, here forming random tag teams. Look, we, we just got the we Cody need to Rhodes just throw elite. Invictus. Invictus. We need to get the titles off of them. I mean, it's just because Invictus is an absolutely dominating tag team that has beaten practically everyone in tag team matches. The only person they haven't beaten is the Stewart Brothers. <laughs> Would you look at that? They, in, in Invictus? Well, except for the fact that they beat... In, that uh, Singles matches don't count. That's non-canon. Well, no, it, it la last... Oh, yeah, I guess that was... Wait, that was a singles match? Oh, yeah, that was a singles match. That's right. That was a singles match I, it week. That match was so terrible that, like... It, it was it it was too fast, and it was yeah. too slow. It, w it was yeah. somehow both fast and slow. Yeah, I hated it. So, like... I just... Some back and forth. Quinn Neko absolutely throwing hands with Jack O'Lantern, the bigger man. Jack O'Lantern looks like he could be a trudge uh, replacement. Yeah. He does seem like that. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to go out and get pizza. You know, I had pizza yesterday, and it, they're... Is a weird. Te I probably won't get pizza again today, but there is a weird temptation. Ah, I got plans after this to visit some of my homies, have a pizza party, play the That's guitar. Right. Damn right. Two. Two. Three. Tell them I love them. To show your appreciation for your homies. You always gotta love your home. Okay. Do the big girl move. Girl, big girl move. <laughs> Suplex throw to the outside. Please end it via count out. We're at the 25 minute mark. If this ends via count out, this would be 
another match ending after seven minutes. That's wild. But, uh, I mean, at, they had entrances, so that may... Uh, what's the word? Uh, they just kind of throw off the time of it, yeah. Yeah. But, ooh, possum pin. I'm so we shocked that a possum pin during that Survivor Series, uh, SummerSlam Survivor Series match. German into a Rainmaker. Vintage Jack-O-Lantern. Now do your uh, pin. Yeah, sure. Yeah, do, do your now. pin. He was a big girl yeah. move. Oh, wait, well, he's... What is Jack... Is he going for... Oh, oh, he was going for a Jack Bomb right there. But Quinn Necco said, no, sir. Quinn Necco wants to extend this... Ma and... A oh! Necco Cutter. Giant. The, 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 the height, the way... Quinn flew around with that Necco Cutter. And... Uh, instantly, I hate it. I hate yep. it. I, I was going to be all like, wow, look at the welts on Quinn Neko's back, and then the audience just made me like, yeah, yeah. Look, you Mark. Look, you Marks, there's a reason AEW is on the moon. It's so that they can do all of the friggin' Canadian destroyers they want. That's right. And no one will care because, you know, moon gravity, no impact. That's a finish, by the way. That was the finish. How many matches is this? Raising them up! Raising them uh, up! Raising them both up! CMLL stands Drew Bowman! That's right! Well, wow, what what an ups, uh, what a surprise. We'll be right back. And we're back. Triple threat action here tonight on this fast-paced edition of Monday Night Raw. Four matches. This is the fifth. We're not even a half an hour of recording. You know, every time Cold Effort comes out, he looks like someone who's, like, ranting under his breath, but still very loudly, and in a way that's incoherent, that you can't understand a word he's saying. Yeah, he does kind of have this perpetually angry look to him. They're just muttering nonsense. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna lay my hands on him, I'm gonna punch him in the head, I'm gonna miss, but it's alright, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him! Cowboy Cold Everett. Looking to hit the Cowboy clothesline here tonight. Unable to do so on the A champion, Drew Bowman. He certainly and tried, may, but Drew Bowman had his number. And you may have to wonder, uh, who is Drew Bowman going to uh, face at uh, Payback? Will we be seeing Bradley Knight versus Drew Bowman 3 at, at Payback? Trudge for Payback? Oh no. Oh wait, no! The dog! Oh. I thought it was Dave <laughs> Daniels for a moment. <laughs> you know. Oh hey, look at this. Another match where uh, Colt Everett is in where he fights someone in a mask. You know, he, 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 he took a break from mask hunting, but now he's back to it. And I will say this. Um, I know the front patch of Wildcats, you know, you know the, the, the patch on the front of his vest says uh, President. I thought it said pervert at first. I thought it just said present. I didn't realize that friggin' Wildcat was a biker. What do they mean by this? Well, he's the president Luchador of his, of his motorcycle club. President of his motorcycle club, apparently. I didn't realize that... Luchador... Wildcat, the new member of the CMLL Appreciation Society. The new president. Ah, uh, no. And then here comes the third person. Chris Baxter. You know, I think this is the first time we see Chris Baxter's uh, entrance, and honestly, looking great right here. Ooh, nice. Yeah. 
Last time we saw Chris Baxter, he faced off against Edward Hogan, which is not something you want on your resume. Gonna do it! Coming out in the skin colored pants. Why does it look like you are naked? No, oh, seriously, why is he wearing tights that make him look naked? For what purpose does it all bring? I was muted. Oh. I was muted on the Discord call. I was saying, uh, I was saying that I, I was noticing the same thing, where it looked like he was uh, um, naked from the front, and and I groaned and I said, "We've been getting fashion tips from known sex pest Dave Daniels." Oh, you know, Chris Baxter looks a lot smaller on uh, on a. Uh, you know, the match card thing, his mugshot. Yeah, he's he looks, a big boy. He's he's friggin' huge. Either that or Wildcat is so small. It's actually both. Like, I'm only I, just now noticing how small Wildcat is. And then you have Colt Everett, who... Is only slightly larger than Chris Baxter Whoa! with the drop kick. Oh, you love to see this kind of match, Ron. Oh, I do. Chris Baxter might be uh, a big boy, but he's also very agile, very athletic. He's got that pirate look around him. And he's definitely Whoa. wearing pants, which you can tell from any angle except the front. He is definitely wearing pants. I mean, we could, yeah, yeah, he's wearing pants. You can tell from the behind. Yeah. But from the front hind, not so much. I can't understand the choice of making the front side, like, flesh-colored. Again, he's been getting fashion tips from known sex pest Dave Daniels. God damn it. That's the new tag team. <laughs> and that's their tag team name, the known sex pests. Chris Baxter and Dave Daniels. I mean, Chris Baxter does have a Captain Jack Sparrow look going on him. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. It's canon. You've heard it here, folks. Dave Daniels and Chris Baxter are the brand new tag team. The known sex pests. Since the Cody Rhodes elite doesn't want to get along. Whatever happened to Miguel de Leon? Oh, that's right. He died in a Hell in a Cell match. Yeah, he, he died. He Master Sky's good El Undo Teco Leon is no longer with us. He's not dead. That's just... He just went through hell in a cell. He's not dead, but he's almost assuredly in a coma. He hasn't been around since main event, and that was like three months ago. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that we get to see, like, Wildcat and Chris Baxter, but I'm starting to miss Miguel de Leon. And his martinis. Same. Oh, reversal from Chris Baxter. And I'm just happy that Caleb Collins was dethroned by a worthy challenger. Oh, and a chop block from Wildcat. And again, oh I I'm still going to ask who's going to be facing uh, Drew Bowman at payback. There, Because there's a lot of mid-carters looking for a good fashion fight. Chris Baxter could make a name for himself right here. This is the match to decide who's facing Drew Bowman. No, maybe. No. No. No, because Colt Everett already lost to, to Drew Bowman in a non-title match. Yeah. I hope Chris Baxter wins, because technically that would make him undefeated. Yeah, you know what? I'm here for a Chris Baxter win. I think if I'm Chris Baxter wins, he has to be the one to challenge Drew Bowman. Definitely. After, like, uh, another match, we need to book him in. We're going to yeah. forget about it. Yeah. I'm you going to forget will. about it. We'll probably say something like, uh, 
We'll probably say something like uh, Caleb Collins versus Chris Baxter, number one. Con Jesus. My God. One. No. He got a sledgehammer <laughs> thrown to his face, and he kicks out at one. One? That's no fun. Oh, what about faces? No. No. Now shut up and do the tag team finish, Mark. Please do the tag team finish. <laughs> no, we need more tag team finishes. What, what, what? What? Michael? Drop kick. I mean, even though Colt Everett lost to Drew Bowman, he's still doing a fantastic job in this match. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe this maybe this is a number one contenders match, even if Colt Everett... Oh. You know, oh. Gory face plant right there. That gory face buster. And and Chris Baxter, known the new known sex pest, is in trouble. How about a baseball bat across the ribs? Known butt pirate. What? No. <laughs> known butt pirate. <laughs> well, I mean, it. it oh, Vertebraker, you know, Gringo oh, Killer. Oh, Vertebraker. Wait a minute. Forget That's a finish I was about to say. I mean, Chris Baxter is already up. What are you doing? You could have yeah, low blowed him. Mark. And Wait, are we going to see Wildcat low blow someone and then the third person steal the win? Oh, come on. No. I swear to God, if Wildcat low blows Colt Everett and Chris Baxter wins via that, I don't care anymore. It's just a gimmick. Low blow him! Low blow him! He was low, gonna low, low blow him, Mark! At that point, Femboy Friday is like, hey, 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 gimmick infringement! That's my big girl move! Yeah, it's the big girl move! Low blow him! That is low in, blow him! That, that, that is, in fact, every time we say do the big girl move, that is in fact what we're talking about. Where you low blow someone, but then get hit so that someone else steals the pin. Close line. Ooh. I mean, we could actually see a low blow and a finish right here if Wildcat hits the low blow on Colt Everett. That's right. Ah! <laughs> Discus that, 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 code breaker. Oh! <laughs> Pin him. Blower, it almost shades of the Mank Bank there. And by shades oh of the Mank goodness. Bank, you can't call it the Mank Bank because <laughs> not the mini Mank doing it. Low blow! Oh, low blow! Oh, oh, yes! yes! It's yes! happening! <laughs> no calls more. for the finish. You gotta hit your move. Wing clipper again. But Chris Baxter is up. You, f you mark. You had it. You idiot. You idiot. You mark ass mark. Call <laughs> ever the amount of times he's eating low blows. Three. <laughs> Three. Cowboy Coast flying out of nowhere! And to Wildcat, the man who low- Oh! Ah. Uh, still suffering the effects of that low blow. Discus. And now we're back to square one. Cole Everett almost saying, you're not Femboy Friday, you're not screwing me over like this. Float over, reverse spinning, neck breaker. That's the finish. That's the- f Come on! No. No. Guys, you were going over time. This was supposed to be seven minutes. Yeah, you idiot. Now we're going to have to have an overrun like it's AEW. Come on, we were, we were under 30 minutes before the match started. It's 40 minutes. Jeez. Well, there's the other part of the big girl move, the kendo stick hit to, to break up a, a pin. Kendo stick hit to break up a move. Sludge, kendo stick, and baseball bat, the trifecta. That is the, the trifecta. Sludge for the trudge. Rolling oh! thing that... It's not even a signature. No, but Chris Baxter sure did that move. 
showing a little bit of psychology there, but... Oh, oh the oh. eye poke. Up against the ropes. No, a clothesline from Wildcat. Oh. No, I, I thought he was oh. making his comp. Oh. Oh, what was that? Wildcat was rolling. Flippy. I thought... I'm just disappointed that none of these are like finishers or signatures. I agree, like a pump handle power bomb. Wildcat what? did the move you hate. Did... The low? That wasn't a pump. That wasn't a pump handle anything. That was just a straight jacket power bomb. I'm sorry, are you running a marathon? You mark! Uh -huh. You actual mark! Hold on. We need to review the last five seconds of that fight. Because it was like five or six baseball bat swings that hit nothing. I'm sorry. Baseball bat swing to the hand, that's the finish. Because Chris Baxter runs a marathon. It was like four or five swings that didn't hit. The one that connected hit the hand of Wildcat. And then Chris Baxter just runs a marathon. We'll be right back. It really is on the rise, like... Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It, it, it's on the rise. All right, let's lock in. Did you start recording? Yeah, no. Yeah, we're, we're already recording. We're like 42 minutes into this. And we're back, then. We're back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I didn't uh, give Ron enough time to uh, prepare himself. Because we are on... <laughs> that match went on too long. Yeah, we need to move. I wanted to make sure that we were... You know, every, that production was fine. And we didn't lose anything. Is that a hand hickey? I think it's a hand hickey. Ugh. Oh. On his... Ah. Uh, someone censor that. Someone censor the homeless crisis. Someone. The way I... Put, I'm put clothes on that man and put a bag over that guy's head. I, I need a friggin' drink. Ugh. Ugh. Standing up for a good moment. Feeling the Indeed. stretch on my quads. Ugh. But it still gives me enough time to grab a drink. Uh, but while that's happening, I want everyone to raise them up in chat. Raise them up for the bowline. Lane Bowman and Blaze Bowman. Two of the greatest wrestlers of this generation. Headed, of course, by the head of the Babel, the tribal beef, the A champion, Drew Bowman. Which is why we raise him up. Lane Bowman, Lane Bowman of course, the bigger fellow, Blaze the, the middle brother, Lane, of course, the, the big little brother. Uh, uh, Lane may be tallest, but he's the youngest. Blaze is, of course, the middle brother. Blaze on your left. Lame and blame Bowman. Lame and blame Bowman, how fucking dare you. Show some respect to your bowline. I had to feed the fish. I had to feed the koi pond. Well, now you need to raise him up. I did. Uh, 30 Good. degrees that way. Got me a Pepsi. Mm, I'm also drinking Pepsi. Ugh. Delicious. Triple threat action here. So, uh, no tag team finish, unfortunately. But... Some of the greatest baby faces you will ever see. Yeah, obviously. The Homeless Crisis, the Bowline, and the Sons of Hell. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan. Yeah! God is bullshit. God <laughs> is bullshit. Welcome to the most blasphemous episode of Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. That's Hail right. Hail Satan. 
Hail Satan. With two babyface tag teams and those scumbag heels, the Homeless Crisis. Oh yeah, that's right. The Homeless Crisis is a heel. They're heels now. The Homeless Crisis is... Go home? This isn't the go home show. That's next week. Mark. Yeah, it's next week. What do you mean? <sighs> Drop the hammers, boys. It's time to crime. Gabriel and Azriel, the sons of hell. We say that they were released as a result of Akira Yamashita's contract with the devil, but kind of as we've come to learn, they just kind of left hell. Something happened, we're not sure what, but they're here on Earth. It is a monkey's paw. It is indeed a monkey's paw. If Akira Yamashita gets 100,000 or something, it, it, she, it won't... It, it won't get rid of the Sons of Hell. No, they're just... It, they're there now. We don't know why they're... They, it, Satan doesn't even know why they're, we're, they're here, but... This is just you know what? chaos. We, yeah, we, we like the Sons of Hell, is the point. And the other point is simply that... Akira Yamashita either has to be the uh, Heartbreaker Champion for a thousand consecutive days, or win it a thousand times in order to regain her name and her soul. You know, you take a look at what a... I don't even know who's who anymore. Yeah, me neither. Uh, it just... I think Azriel is the one with the dreads, uh, and Gabriel is the one with the longer-flowing ponytail. Um, yeah, yeah a a a Azriel is the one that just rolled out of the ring. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was okay. saying. Yeah, yeah. Azriel, the one with the... With the dreads, like, yeah. Dreads, dreadhawk. Uh, Gabriel, the one with the mountain beard. We got Captain Crack, of course. They gave him clothes. And uh, Hobo Jones, they gave him a paper bag. I can't believe the gimmick of the homeless crisis is that they put on clothes when they're in the ring. Because they oh smell my goodness. Oh my god! I love that tope on Lane Bowman. Looks like he's just casually jumping out of the ring. Yeah, Lane Bowman, the athleticism on the youngest of the bowline. Unfortunately, Azriel has him in his clutches, and oh my. Two fights happening outside of the ring. It's just... Absolute sheer... Force of nature right here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't know what to focus on. Should I focus on what's in the ring? Should I focus on the sleeper happening outside the ring? Should I focus on the fact that the bowline is taken into the Sons of Hell and Hobo Jones? Oh. Just as I say that. Lane comes to save the day. I think this is the furthest anyone's ever gotten to the ramp. Am I wrong? Outside of an ambush. Did you mute yourself again? No, I was trying to do something else and I failed miserably. But nevertheless. Dang. Okay, now it's two triple threat matches. Captain Crackhead got Azriel and Blaze Bowman, Lane Bowman back in the ring, Gabriel entering. The combos from Lane Bowman falling into the headbutt as Gabriel lands a body shot on Blaze Bone. You're trying to go old school. Your brother's in that corner, you idiot. Mark, after that brilliant tope. After that brilliant tope. Steel chair. Oh, power bomb roll through, sunset flip. But, oh, you idiot. <laughs> Derek Moore's dead. Jesus. What is this bedlam and chaos? I don't even know what happened. I don't either, but you know what? Here we go. Where are you going, Lane? Why? I, there is so... Oh, it, what is Gabriel? Again. 
What is he's freaking sliding all over the bulldog? What what even is? I don't what know. Even is anything? There's so much happening in this match. Oh my goodness! A power slam! Oh, on the steps. Super kick by Azriel to Hobo Jones. Gabriel escaping from Blaze Bowman. In comes Captain Crackhead with the kendo stick, but no. Uh, so much. Blaze coming in to save his brother. Or to bring the fight back to Gabriel. Mm. Damn near landing his head on the steel steps. This this has already been a hell of a slobber. And I'm still trying to get over uh, Lane Bowman after that brilliant tope and then just completely blowing it because he can't old school because his brother's in that corner. You mark. You can't step on your brother, you idiot. Yeah, dipshit. Reminder that uh, the Sons of Hell are kind of going against the separate teams, going one on two. I I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I'm fairly certain it's not, but... Oh! Jeez! I, that, that sledgehammer to the face of Lane. Jesus. No one is in the ring. This isn't false count anywhere, you marks. Uh, Blaze, what are you doing? You marks. No one's in the ring! Someone get in the ring, do a pin. Oh my, a fist. I should turn the camera around so that we can get much clearer view. Or you know what, bird's eye. Never mind. Bird's eye was almost a good idea. It didn't quite work out. It, although, it's, oh my, it, Captain Crack with the Superman punch. Just leaving Lane Bowman. The bowline is on the floor. Blaze Bowman first to get to his feet from the bowline. Hobo Jones is about to pin Azriel. Gabriel gets tossed in the ring. No oh, can do. kick out. No one to, no <laughs> can do. Sons of Hell are destined to sell to job in this match. They're eating the pin. I don't want that. Oh, super oh, kick super out of nowhere. Kick. And Azrael with the save. Oh. Azrael looking for something on Blaze Bowman with a reversal. Oh. Kip up, super kick. Oh, Enziguri. And, of course, after hitting your move, you lay down for a bit. <laughs> Bicycle <laughs> suit! Ah, oh, so much is happening. Inside, so much is ha outside. How do you call a match like this? You don't. You don't, Ron. No, you really don't. It's like, Kip at this up. point... Oh my goodness. The Chi! Captain Crackhead knows the Chi! He apparently knows the Chi! Asriel with the resiliency. Yeah, it, it, the Sons of Hell almost did eat that pin. He's going old school! Oh, that's right. Now Lane Bowman going old school on Captain Shades Crack. of El Ondo Taco. Now pin him. I think this is confirmation. Shades of El Ondo Taco. The bow, the bow line. The bass oh, slide. Oh. The by Lane Bowman. But I think this pin is him. Yeah, pin him. But I think after that, after hitting the old school, after hitting a nod to El Undoteco, that it's confirmation the bowline are also allies in the war against the homeless. Oh, choke slam! Choke slam! As well, Shades of Elcano! God damn it! <laughs> Lane Bowman, the closest person. To win. Greatest fantasy match of all time, the Bowline versus El Undo Taco and El Cano. I 
can't wait for El Cano to come back from the dead like a Spanish soap opera. Esper mi hermano, El Cano. <gasps> El hermano de destrucción. Dios mío, El Cano. Hola, hermano. <laughs> Blaze Bowman sends Asriel into the corner for a clothesline bulldog Ooh. stunning him. Center of the ring. Blaze. He's going for. Is he, is he going for the bar No, he no. can't. Bar shooter. He did. He did. He did. He did. But Captain Crack oh. still in this. Oh. The G. Could it be? No, not like this. No, I don't like think it this. can be. He's too no. damn resilient. Blaze Bowman is still in this fight. And everyone leaves the ring. Everyone. Well, you know, it does make sense that the Bowline would be would be allies with the Sullivans and everyone fighting the homeless, because again, the the the, the shooting bar uh, uh, an incident uh. of destruction, another victim of the homeless war, destroyed by the homeless crisis, which is where we get the bar shooter. There's just so much being thrown around. That chair had so much air time. Oh. Oh, what is this? Reverse DDT. Onto the sludge. The sludge. Trudge. The sludge for the drudge. That's the right. trudge hammer. The, sl the sludge hammer. Oh, Lane Bowman. Alone oh, with Captain Crack. Going old school. Can he end it this time? Will this be enough to put down Captain Crack? Oh. Running a marathon? Okay. Oh! Here oh. it comes! Death Valley- No! No! Reversed by Captain Crack, who's gonna go for it? No! no Here it comes! Wait a minute. Another! Bast slide! <laughs> Powerbomb! And he no sells it, you mark! You scumbag. This is why we hate the homeless crisis. And nothing but curb stomps. Just vicious. Blaze, get in the ring, help your brother. As Captain gets Cack tossed to, in the, the ring. Captain, Captain Crack. Jeez! To oh my, my God. goodness! Do, 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 do. <laughs> yes, this is the finish. That's the this greatest the finish. finish of all time. That was amazing. Of course, freaking Asriel hits his finish. Gets hit by a freaking yes, 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 yes. Now, unfortunately, as you predicted, the Sons of Hell did eat the pin. But what? Ah, oh. yeah. What a finish, and it it the bowline. Coming away with the win, as they should. We'll be right back. And we're back. Singles action here, tonight. As number one contender for the Japan United States champion looks to take out a known sex pest. To think that we're getting Trudge versus Mank 3 again. At payback of all places. Oh, yeah, at, at payback. But you know what time it is. It's magic time. Oh, it is magic time. Mini Mac is the Daddy Mac magic. Here it comes. Ooh. Oh! He's casting it. His magic spell. He's making up at the yeah. end of the spell. And it's done. That's your spell. The... the 1.5 second mount activated magic. Now some people might think that that's not particularly impressive magic. My response to that is, can you summon a motorcycle for 1.5 seconds? I thought not. And here it comes, his other magical ability, making people raise them up multiple times. If only we'd have session. 
That's right. If only we could have gotten Mini Bow, but of course, what we got instead of Mini Bow was our first Grand Slam champion and Mank in the Bank. Got to put up the Mank in the Bank sign somewhere. Yes. Oh uh, man, if custom signs, if we get custom signs, I'm putting the Mank in the Bank logo. Yeah. To set up, yeah, to to set up for when moving forward, it's no longer Money in the Bank; it's Mank in the Bank. Oh my goodness, his music is. And his opponent. <laughs> I'm surprised that's never <laughs> registered. I'm surprised that's never registered to you. He. He is a known sex pest. Down to his music. Oh, God. No, don't no. say yeah, baby, to him. I mean, some girls are into it. I'm you know, not no sure how to feel about that. This... What kind of fat bastard are you into? Uh, oh no. Hello, fellow teens. It is me. The coolest guy around. Oh no. This fellow college had... fellow Hello, fellow college students. Hello, fellow like college girls. <laughs> yes. Hello, fellow who <laughs> I would like to join all of the college girls for a rager and a kegger. Haha. <laughs> Okay, we're we're recording. Okay, thank goodness. He's too he Mini Mank is too big for Dave Daniels. Good. He's too big for known sex past Dave Daniels to be able to throw around and grapple. There's probably gonna be an actual Dave Daniels like why do people keep calling me a sex pest? <laughs> Cause you fucking stare at college girls and try to get upskirt photos of them. You freak, you know what you are. Uh, ah. <laughs> Allergies, man. My nose Al tickles. I, I also suffer from them, so I get it. Oh, hey, it's my favorite move. Yeah, low, low little cobra clutch. Oh, never mind. You should have seen that at Money in the Bank a few years back. Mm -hmm. Everyone used it in the ladder match. Everyone hitting the Cobra Clutch for no reason. Uh, now we're going back and forth here. The Mini Mank. The Grand Slam Mank. And known sex pest, Dave Daniels. At payback, could he be a... T oh! He called for a punch to the face. Uh, I was going to say something, something, uh... Two-time Grand Slam Mank. But he's... What in the world? You get busted open and you go for a cheap leg sweep. That's not fair. It's not fair, but it is typical of Dave Daniels. No, Stop eating his fingers! Well, Dave Daniels didn't win last week, so, you know, as we all know, you if you don't win, you don't he eat. He did win. He did win. He did win? He beat Jack O'Lantern last week. I forgot. Oh, well, then he's just a fat, greedy piece of shit. Minnie Mank won last week. He's number one contender. No, 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 I meant, I meant Dave Daniels, because he was biting Minnie Mank's fingers. I'm and just Dave saying Daniels... that both of these men have won uh, last week. Well, I'm not... <laughs> I, try to, I try to blank Dave Daniels' matches out of my head. That I forgot I that can't. he won. I thought he lost. I can't. His, I his, his victory motion, you can't forget that. It's too traumatizing. Oh, that's right! You're, you know what? As soon as you said that, I remembered him... Oh my, oh my god! Pedigree! <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the finish, though. Oh, you know what? I got so distracted. The memories rushing back of him zombie rushing the, the ref and going, Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. 6.30. That. That's right, but... I, Damn I don't... I don't think Dave Daniels has gotten any off. Whoa! Whoa! You can reverse it like that? Apparently, you can. But now I'm, I'm, I'm so distracted and angry at known sex pest Dave Daniels that I completely was not prepared for the <laughs> pedigree. 
You know who you can't be angry at? Known magician Minimank. That's right. Not even as not even a one count. Mank Bank, that's the finish. Mank Bank! That's the finish. And of course resiliency. Dave Daniels is nothing if not resilient. Well, he's a known sex yes. fast. Especially when there are women involved. Yes. Especially those of a barely legal age. That's why they call him coach. <laughs> That's right. No sex fest. Derek Moore just looks disgusted. He should be disgusted. We're disgusted. We hate this man, Dave Daniels. Back in the ring. What in the... What? He just absolutely parried an entire body. How do you do that? Well, when you're as strong as the mini mank and as heavy as the mini mank. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. And a final cut after the Northern Lights. Ooh. Kick out at this one. Kick out at one. Kick, kick out, out at one. one. No resiliency. No resiliency. Kick out at two. Screw your finish, I mean, kid. I mean, you don't need to tap into resiliency when you're the mini mank who's barely taken any damage up to this point from Dave Daniels. Dave Daniels going up top now. Catch him. God, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> if only he had be... his finisher ready there. That would have been... Yeah, that would have been brilliant, but still. Shades of the Rainmaker. Rest in peace, Rainmaker. You see, Rainmaker. <laughs> uh, in this in business. This business. <laughs> I am the king of 630, baby! <laughs> You can't stop the mini mank when he hits the 630, because that's, that's a right. finish. Wow. Number one contender right there. That's right. And we saw all the moves. We saw the pedigree. We saw the mank bank. We saw the 630. Now, we didn't get a German to end all Germans, but you know what? I'm okay. happy. Yeah, I'm happy too. <laughs> Derek Moore just stared at Sammy. Like, weird angle. We'll be right back. And we're back. Women. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Women certainly are women. And there's no woman more woman than your women's, 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 men's champion. 58 days is the champion, if That's I right. remember correctly. 57. 57. Making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, the women's, 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 men's champion. I will never get over that. <laughs> Me neither. I love it. Yamashita! Am I the only one that counts each and every women said in that? No, I do. Which is why I'm Just always like very specific to make sure that I... One head bob, two head yeah. bob. Because I'm, I'm, I'm always very specific to make sure as well that whenever I'm recounting the Heartbreaker Champion, a.k.a. Women's, 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 men's champion, that I make sure it's five-time women's, one-time men's at the end. And don't forget the total, non-stop, action, ECW, ECW. ultraviolet, women's. women's. That's where the sixth women's came from, from the Heartbreaker Championship. It went to the A Championship. <laughs> there, was, there was a mixed matchup there. It was supposed to be the total, non-stop, action, ECW, ultraviolet, men's championship. We had to spread some things around, but it's fine. Got it's one of the it, it's, it's one of the ties. Crossed. Honestly, it's one of the ties that bind Akira Yamashita and Drew Bowman. God damn it! Of course, it all makes sense now. Just saying. The lore expands. Jesse's girl. Akira Yamashita wishes that she could beat. Jesse's girl, who's also named Jesse. Wish that I could be Jesse's girl. Wait. 
Yes, Jesse is, is dating Jess Jesse. I I'm, I'm is the I'm just my head hurts. My head hurts a lot. It's okay. That's why I'm here to help steer the ship. It it mostly comes from the fact that I was like, "Wait a minute. There are guys named Jesse." He's like, "Wait a minute." What? I don't know anymore. Okay. Non-binary well, Jesse for the win. Let's go. You know, yeah, you know what? It it multiple Jessies are here. Raise them up and, if you're a Jesse. <laughs> raise them up. And you know what? While you're raising them up, raise them up for the fucking bowline. Raise them up for your head of the babel. Jesse squad, where you at? Kiri Yamashita and Jesse Kaiser in the match here tonight. Rolling here, oh. into a thing. What a way to start off the match. Rolling into the flatliner immediately. Jesse Kaiser wanting to to leave a mark here. Oh, brutal headbutt. I hate it when that move gets used and it's not a finisher or a signature. It's like, why? It's weird. It looks weird to just do it. Yeah, it looks weird to just do it out of nowhere as a first move. Mm. Nevertheless. The set the ah. <laughs> There's something so goofy about the ah, 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 uh, from the forearm shots to the back. Hold on. They're, they're they, they have the same attire. They yes, are literally they wearing the same friggin' dress thing. Is Jesse Kaiser what Akira Yamashita looks like if she weren't demonified? Probably. Maybe. Like, Who knows? Even the lines. Oh, God. Why does every woman wear purple? I don't know. Why do they sound like... Just the least is... Uh, uh, ah, uh, ah, ow. Uh. Ow, no, stop. Stop it. Slip into Ooh. a DDT. Reverse DDT. DDT. Front ways falling. I'm more of a back ways falling. Yeah, I hear you. Me personally as well. It kind of gives more impact to the elbow, like you're giving them an elbow drop to the neck area. Whoa! Oh! Yamashita looking for her vintage rolling into a super kick thing. But a package brain buster by Jesse Kaiser. Oh, this is Vintage. bad for our champion. One, two, no can do at the count of two. She's no still in this one. No can do. Jesse Kaiser towards the middle of the ring, but or pulling gear Yamashita towards the middle of the ring, but no good. To the outside, do a tope. Yeah, do a tope. Okay. I mean, that's the, the, the. I know you rolled as your first move, but rolling out of the ring is not a tope. No. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, what? 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 I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm. What? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, what man. did she mean oh. by that? The laziest fucking... Oh. <laughs> Little bit of a Blade Runner situation there. Say oh man oh again. Please. Never mind, I want to die. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, the Dave Daniels uh, known sex pest route. Oh, yeah. It's... It... It... But we're never gonna. Yeah, he's, he's, you you he's, know that one woman it, when during Dave Daniels' entrance who, who was like, "Yeah, baby, maybe it was that it was Jesse Kaiser." I can't believe Jesse Kaiser is a Dave Daniels season three mark. Fuck's sake! I hate it here. It's the main event you're gonna hate the most. Oh well, yeah. I mean, we all know that. Like as soon as we get there, it's gonna be. 
Especially when Invictus wins again. No, 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 no. I do oh, not man. Ow. Why don't women wear pants? Wear pants! Oh, and a clothesline to the outside. Right over the top. And, and oh. there she goes. Love pulling her in to, to get that, that suplex in. I love double double E. <laughs> Vladimir Kozlov, you are in our hearts forever. I can't believe Mark Henry killed Vladimir Kozlov. I know. Terrible. I was so hoping for him to come back like Kane. Gobble dobbly. Are they going to get a double count out? I mean, I we don't need another one. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Up to the top rope. Going up. Elbow drop. Oh. No one home for that elbow drop. Jesse Kaiser just headbutt to a Kiriyama Shida. Oh. Teeing off. See, it's at times like these I wish that I could, like, lock on on a free camera. So I don't have to constantly just jut around like this. Yeah. That's oh. like the second time she's reversed the super kick. Oh my goodness, she's going to kill oh. her. She's she going to kill the mar champion. Marking up here. Yeah, this is bad. This is... Th there's no way out of this for Akira. She's stunned. Kaiser's got two finishers. And a deadlift sleeper... What in the world? Yeah. Oh, it's and she over. she taps out. It's over. The Kaiser Lock. The Kaiser Lock. Is this number one... Con Do we see our number one contender right here? Oh, definitely. Watch as... Uh, the screen turns black. The screen turns black. The screen turns black. The screen turns black. The screen turns black! There it is. And three, two, one, on stage. And we'll be right back. <laughs> Stewart's here for the main event action. And here comes General Manager Cody Rhodes and Marvin Blade. What's going on? And what are they coming out for? And, and, and why isn't... I'm so confused. I thought this was a scheduled match. Why? Why was Cody Rhodes here? Isn't he supposed to be making deals with Seven Eleven? Maybe he was coming out. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm not reading the script. I'm never gonna read the script. Who cares about the script? That's not. That's their words. That's not our words. You know what? I'm hyped. This match is probably. Got it's the most of... energy for it, but it's probably going it, lackluster. Yeah. Zero stars. Even what? Dave... Huh? What? Huh? What? What? What happened? What? Why did it take me to that? I don't... Michael? I scratched my ear for one moment, and it takes me to a different menu, but... Uh, ref rings the bell. Uh, Wade Morgan immediately tags out Holt Stewart... Starting things off, he usually doesn't start things off, but you know what? I think Cody Rhodes is picking favorites. He maybe he's picking his teeth up from the floor, his plastic teeth. Though again, that plastic surgery. Yeah, no, they they, they just need he just needs some more uh, gorilla glue. Place it into the tooth slot. Yeah, he'll be fine. Get that get that play doh up in there. <laughs> Held together by Gorilla Glue and Play-Doh and, and, you know yeah, I'm thinking about having plastic surgery I don't know if I will maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait until I'm a little You know, until I'm a wrinkly old man And then they can put me in an internally young body Nah, I'll be taking steroids I, I, I think If not the plastic surgery I think maybe I should start looking into some DDP yoga steroids 
steroids. You want to get that superstar Billy Graham diet, huh? Yeah. Oh, winding him up for the punch. Looks like the Big Stewarts punch. are looking strong in this one. Yeah. And only a one. That wind-up isn't winding them up for anything. Back in the corner, you're, do the tag team finish. We you're aware of that. Are you aware of the story of Kofi Kingston uh, winning the, the WWE title and um, Superstar Billy Graham? No. What was the story there? So the story was when Kofi won the 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 title, um, I don't remember where it was. It, it was on some social media, if I recall. Uh, but Superstar Billy Graham was like, hey, congratulations on, on winning like the belt like this is this is a big thing but like listen so you know what your next step has to be if you want to you know if you want to be a great champion and all that you got to start taking steroids yeah no he 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 was very open like yeah kid you got to start taking steroids like it's the it's it's the heavyweight champion for a reason you got to be a heavyweight and listen i know steroids are fry, frowned upon but i promise you kid if you go up to vince right now and tell him you want to start taking steroids uh, he will be on board. He will help you start taking steroids. Made this statement fully public. Oh. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> Billy Graham, what's wrong with you? The world but that's, never... Oh! Honestly, that's better than what I thought this story was going to be about. Yeah, Kofi Kingston definitely needs steroids. That's right. You, you listen, it, it's the World Heavyweight Championship. You gotta be a heavyweight. So you, know, Man, you gotta do it. You gotta start doing for, steroids. The standards for heavyweight is just like all over the place. Yeah. Like changes, it, it's raised, it's lowered. It, it keeps going higher every year. It's an open weight championship, but you know that doesn't sound sexy. That's why the nerds at at New Japan use open weight championships. Tag team finish. And it, we are very close to seeing a tag team championship. It, it uh, is tag the finish. tag team finish. Meet in the middle. Oh That's my god! Well, we've seen another tag team finish. And it's a kick out. Thank God. That's right. God. Well, we want to see a Stewart tag team finish. Not I'm these sorry. other marks. Having friggin' Invictus have meet in the middle as their tag team finish just doesn't fit. I don't know why. I do know why. It's... I just don't see them being able to do, like, knee strikes. They're too technical. They're too boring, more like. Boringly technical. Oh, what a reversal by Halt! Could this be the opportunity to give Hunter the opportunity to win this match? Tag's been made. Okay, tag in. Pulse oh, Stewart tagged my. in. Oh. Single, double, triple axe handle. Triple axe handle! Quadruple axe handle shot from Holt Stewart onto Alexander Scott. Tag! Frequent tag team moves! Good, 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 good tag team psychology. He's got to work Alexander Scott into a shoot. <laughs> do the tag team finish. Statement. Yeah, do the tag team finish. But what a statement that work into a shoot. I love it. He got him to blade. That's all that matters. Yeah. <clears throat> Hot tag. Hot tag. Hot tag. Come on now. Come on. Do the hot tag. Do the tag team finish. No, Mark. not 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 you, Invictus. Don't you do the. You already did your tag team finish. Don't do another. Frankensteiner. Oh. It, 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 Frankensteiner Avalanche Hudang Kane Rana. Oh, Wade Morgan trying to run up the ropes. And Arn Anderson will be disappointed. Arn Anderson saying dudes who are whiter than me hitting a spine buster. Don't 
don't know. Not again. Reverse it. Thank you. Okay, this is good. Come on, Holt. You're the underdog. Yes. Look at Hunter. Yes. Or look at Holt. Yes. Yeah. 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 We look, love look, to see that. Fly double uh, double uh, jab. That's what I'm trying to say. Dip dive into the other. Yep. Ah, oh, come on. Sleeper. Sleeper hold. Please. Ah. Nope. It would have been poetic irony for a friggin' Invictus member to tap out. Yeah, to a sleeper hold of all things. <laughs> poetic irony. Yeah. Tag, team, finish, as there is meat in the middle, and they're hungry. No! Oh, wait. Do, move? Move? Oh. Move? Oh. No. No, move. <laughs> move, please move. Do move? Yeah, meat in the middle just doesn't... Like, after seeing it the second time, it especially just doesn't feel right. Like, I'm glad we're seeing tag team finishes, but, like, it just, it don't, it don't work. It doesn't work. They're too slow. Yeah. To have, like, a sudden fast-paced move like that. I am inclined to agree. But now here comes Holt Stewart. Coming back in. D yes, Stewart tag team finish, please. Stuart, please, Stewart tag team finish. Get him into the corner. Get him into the corner. No, Fuck. not you. Yes. Oh, wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. Bastards. Ooh. Dodge for dodge. Punch to the face by Hunter. Up, oh, regroup. All right, tag Hunter in and then do the tag team finish. Do the tag team finish. Do the big girl. Load move. <laughs> do the big girl move. Do the big girl move. Is that a hairy back? Do these guys have it. hairy backs? They probably do. I just zoomed in on his back. Oh, the Stewart, yeah, they 100% have hairy backs. I just didn't notice it. No. Oh, you messed with the wrong Stewart brother. I said you messed with the wrong steward, brother. In the immortal words of Roosh, you mess with the bull, you get the <laughs> Into the corner. Wade Morgan. Come on! I hate these men Invictus. I hate Invictus. Just eat the tag team finish. Oh, nice dodge. Please, stop reversing. Stop reversing! You boring piece of garbage! No. Wrong corner. Yeah, he did his move. Yeah, let's go. Big girl move, let's go. There is another variation of the big girl move. Oh, no. Oh, oh reversal. beautiful counter. Countered by Holt. Headbutt a doom. Arm drag. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Come on. Duck. Elbow. That's a finish. Okay. That's a finish. finish. Not quite. All right, I'll get him into the corner and then do the tag team finish. Please do the tag team. Come on. You reversing piece of human garbage. Oh no. 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 We just we don't want Invictus to win any. No, yes. Oh beautiful. Come on, Hunter. You do this. You're the big brother. No, it's too <laughs> late. Come on, reversed. Body slam! Center! And vintage yeah. steward elbow drop to the tag team finish. Yeah, Please. Tag team finish. Get him into the corner. Yes! Oh, oh, yes, yes, see yes, it. yes, 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 yes. I mean, this is okay. Interesting. This Start is punching. Okay. okay. Dumbass. No, I mean, 
I'm fine. I'm fine with this. Stop reversing the finisher, you mark! Matt returned how and... Many, how many reversals of a finisher can Wade Morgan do? Hot Apparently tag. As many as you need. Hot tag into Holt. Wade Morgan still not going for the tag team finish. Or anything. Oh, big bull meat horn? <laughs> The, the dog the, headbutt. The, yeah, the dog headbutt, the Dave Daniel special. Oh, nice running chop by Holt Stewart. Didn't amount to too much, but ooh. Oh my. Just slamming Wade Morgan onto the ring apron. Four. Back into the ring. Three. Three. Back into the ring. Both legal men are neither back in the these, ring now. Neither of them entered in on their own free will. No, but this is looking very bad for the Stewart brothers. I mean, Wade Morgan has like three finishers. Hot tag. Uh oh, oh, you mark. Grab him. Grab him while you're still in. Oh. And tag. It, it, Tagging once again to Wade Morgan. Crossbody. That's the finish. One, two. No. No can do. Oh, and My a punch from Holt for good measure. My God, the, the riot that would have taken place if that was the finish. Tag. Come on. A good counter. Come on. If the Stewarts win, this match could be awesome. I, that was actually a cool move. That was alright. It's like some kind of gun wrench back body drop of some sort. This match, I, I, I think if it wasn't Invictus and if it wasn't their moveset, this match might actually be decent. If it wasn't for the freaking constant reversing the corner moves... Like, how many times are we going to go into the corner and nothing happens? Alexander Scott with a pop-up backbreaker. Okay, solid move. They're, start they're starting to win me back just a tiny little bit here. Maybe it's actually just Wade Morgan. That's the problem. It might be. <laughs> We've singled out the Invictus problem. It's the guy who wins the matches via an armbar. That would be interesting to put Invictus in singles matches and see if it really is Wade Morgan who's the problem and if Alexander Scott's like actually kind of cool. We got to put Alexander Scott in singles action sometime soon. Yeah. Eventually. We're going to forget about it. Yeah, probably. Come on. That would have been awesome if you could break that would have been. Oh. oh. Wade Morgan getting his hair pulled by Holt. Come on. Oh, no. No, 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 Please, please reverse it. Holt, do the underdog. Yes. Beautiful. You love to see it. Now do the tag team finish. He can't. Hunter's still down. <laughs> you had time to wait. Oh, oh, elbow. Oh, and fly. In comes Alexander Scott with a double axe handle. Ooh. Tag. With the axe handle strike with the double hammer. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I swear, if this is how the match ends. Resiliency! You, got, you used resiliency for a roll-up. He had to he had to show his resiliency to get out of that mat or to get out of that pen. Now here comes Alexander Scott, who might be good. Might be. It's just been Wade Morgan, as you can tell from the beating he took. Yeah. Holt's in this one. Oh. 
tag team finish. No? No, not yet. Missed the tag team finish. No, I mean, close enough. Oh, here it comes. Vintage Stewart elbow. Oh, okay. All right, maybe that, not. That that wasn't that wasn't vintage. I guess hunt. I guess for Hunter it's vintage, and for Holt it's just a move. Here's this boring piece of shit, Wade Morgan. Dropping DDT. So Holt Stewart wisely rolling out of the ring here. Tope! <laughs> oh my goodness. Huh. Through his partner. I, that move was actually kind of good. Yeah, finally not slowing it down. Oh my. What's Wade Morgan thinking? Is this... <sighs> You know, when they keep it out of the ring, I think Invictus is actually good. That's why they did so well in the Extreme Rules match. I, in... you know, I'm inclined to agree, actually. It's just... Oh. No. No. No, no, not like this. Please. Not like this. Counter again. Please. Rope, Rope break. Rope. Thank God. But no, 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 no. I think we're about to meet in the middle. No. Oh. Not oh. Quite. Body slam. Okay, now Vintage. it's a signature. Okay, sure. Vintage Holt Stewart. Do now, the tag Holt. team finish. You know what to do. And yes. Holt, you also know what yes. to do. Yes. Please. The tag team finish. Uh, set, softening him up. Yeah, set it up. That's okay. We've seen this before. Oh, uh. punch him! Punch him! Punch him! Do no. something! Oh. I, wait, right, elbows. elbows! This could be it! Holt Stewart is going to beat Invictus Clayton! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! They defeated him! The first ever loss they got! Holt Stewart! You did it, you madman! You did it! Oh my god! has finally been bested. What a match of the night. What? What? Oh saw, my goodness. We saw tag team finishes, which technically helped, even though it was, you know, Invictus who did it. But Halt Stewart, in a war, the Stewarts and Invictus. My God. Oh my goodness. Greatest of all time. Ooh. What? I am surprised. There were there were some, uh, you know, uh, back and forth that went on for too long, but the end justifies the means. I think we can all agree on that one. Jesus, the build, the storyline. These guys have been undefeated since episode one, and now they meet their match because they got a draw count out, and now they lose. And this is an undeniable, undisputed loss. Undisputed. There is nothing to say. Stewarts are going to be the tag team champions. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Monday Night Raw. I've been your host as always. With me tonight is the Ron. And we'll see you when we'll see you. Oh. See ya. See ya. <laughs>